one of the most talked about topics in Warzone 2, and it has been for Call of Duty for some time now, but it's getting worse and worse. Pro players and even just casual streamers and YouTubers alike all know there's a problem, so why aren't we addressing this at all? Before we really try to answer the why, I think it's important to look at the evidence, I suppose you might have to call it, and look at it from both sides. Most people see this, the kill cam, and there's all kinds of essentially standing up for this with the explanation that the kill cam isn't always accurate. And while that might be true, it's not always wrong either. And the easier way to show how this looks pretty darn close to what's actually happening is look at it from the opposite side. Now this is just a clip from a video by someone named Hexsmith. I'm going to link this video in the description below. This is a great video. I'm not really sure why it doesn't have more views. Uh, some of you may have heard of if you follow Call of Duty and Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Jay God did uh, basically a reaction to this video. Even he uh, initially thought uh, aim assist was too strong, but if you're watching Hexsmith's video, he realized that some of what he even thought he knew was incorrect in itself. And um, you should watch both videos, but I'm gonna link Hexsmith's video because it's, it's the main source and it is really good. And maybe I'm using really good a bit loosely here because it's actually really bad. It, it shows and highlights just how absolutely broken this function is. And now we have to get back to the real question at hand, which is why is this not being addressed at all? Why has it not even been looked at or even relatively uh, touched, thought about, considered at all by the development team? The simplest answer here is that if more people feel like they can play competitively in this game, they're going to sell more games. And this game has been one of the pinnacles of competitive FPS titles, particularly across console and PC, for so long now that with the addition over the last three to three titles of Stronger and Stronger Aim Assist, it's put players who otherwise maybe would feel more casual or think they were casual and make them feel more competitive. And it's also helping drive sales for skins, blueprints, you name it. If you feel like you have a chance to compete at all times in this game, you're gonna be more likely to spend more money after you've already purchased the full title. There's also something else here too. There's no way that people at Activision the developers of Call of Duty, whether it be Treyarch or Sledgehammer or whoever it was over the last three years, there's no way they don't hear th this conversation. And there's a very real chance that part of me believes and understands there's a they don't want to change anything because it's creating a continued dialogue around their game, albeit not a good one. Some players love this, and I understand that because if you played on a controller and you were maybe mid-tier, but you learned how to use aim assist as a function as rather than an actual assistance tool, you would become a lot better than the average or better than average mouse and keyboard player, for instance. There's another problem too, and I did a video on this last week, um, which I'll have linked here in a card on the screen, but mouse and keyboard players are finding ways to use aim assist as well uh, through third party tools that aren't even recognized as cheating because of the way that they operate. So it's interesting to me that you've got mouse and keyboard players, all they want is aim assist, and they'll literally find any way to use it, and the game will never recognize how they're using their input um, essentially they're using their mouse and keyboard as a controller that's what the game thinks and this isn't cheating which is the crazy part um it, i think it just it really outlines just how strong aim assist as a tool is in this game if you've got people on what was always considered to be the superior input trying to find ways to be able to just use one small functionality that it, controller players get now i'm not saying that you needed to turn aim assist off either. I don't think that's that's a good option either. You can't do that uh, because then it would just go back to where it was before. Mouse being way, way, way more uh, overpowered and more accurate. But you do have to figure out something. And I think nerfing the rotational part of aim assist has got to happen and or input-based matchmaking for mouse and keyboard players. You'd see a lot of mouse and keyboard players that had previously gone to controller come back. That's what I'm thinking about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, once again, I do appreciate you stopping by. Cheers. We'll see you next time.